Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rada Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a closer look at a fragrance that I can absolutely smell wafting off of this test trip. It's incredibly delightful and it's one of my favorite fragrances and I think one of the best releases, if not the best release of 2019. This one by the company Nishane is called Ani, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my review of Nishane Ani, I just wanna say that if you are a fan of this type of content, if you like fragrance videos here on YouTube, whether that be reviews, top tens, giveaways, unboxings, etc., please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on that bell. Now, before I begin, I do wanna mention that I purchased this fragrance with my own money, but this video is being shot in cooperation with fragranceusa.com. Uh, the owner of the company, Bijan, actually reached out to me. He wanted to do something special for my subscribers. So if you use the code RETALESCENCE10, you will get 10% off your entire order Order and pretty much everything on the website does not have to be a Nishane product. Uh, this code is valid for an indefinite amount of time. And as you can tell by taking a look at the title down below, there is going to be a giveaway associated with this video for a full bottle of Nishane Ani. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is go over to the website fragranceusa.com and then leave a comment down below here and let me know if you were to purchase a fragrance from that website, which one would you purchase? That's all you have to do and I'm going to pick the winning comment in one week's time and I'm going to pin it to the top of the comment thread. So please make sure to come back to this video in one week to see if you've won. But Fragrance USA, fantastic website. They have tons of fragrances. Uh, Roja Parfum, Inicio Parfum Privé, Tom Ford Private Blends, Nishane, Mancera, and they have really good prices as well. And they are located in Long Island. So I'm kind of fortunate that a lot of these places are a, a hop, skip, and a jump away that I get my packages very quickly. But let's go ahead and get started. So Nishane, Ani, I think this is one of the best, if not the best release of 2019. The perfumer is Cecile Zerokian. She has done fragrances for Theo Cabanel and Amouage and Bijan and just tons of brands. I'm not gonna even take the time to list them all, but uh, this one is a benchmark vanilla fragrance. As soon as you spray it on, yes, it is complex. There are some other notes in here, but you are going to get a ton of vanilla from this fragrance. And if you are a gourmand lover, this is a must have in your collection. If you are a fan of vanilla, I know not everybody loves vanilla, but if you are a fan of vanilla and you're not in the market for one of those juvenile, overly youthful, cloying, you know, toothache inducing vanillas, you want something a little bit more sophisticated and refined, this is such a spectacular fragrance. I'm so excited to tell you more about it, but let's start things off with the presentation. So here's the box for Ani, but I should also mention that it comes with this plastic protective sleeve on top of it. It also has this additional sleeve and then when you open it up, it has this drawer style presentation that I really, really like. You just pull on the silk tab here on the right. It comes with an envelope on the inside, and then you can see the silhouette of the bottle inside the box. And the inside of the envelope has this really nice postcard. I really like the attention to detail when it comes to the presentation of Nishane fragrances. And here's the bottle. This fragrance is Extrait de Parfum Strength, so it's very strongly concentrated. Please keep that in mind. Nishane is also written into the cap. The cap for this fragrance does not click into place, but it is a snug fit. You can pick it up from the cap. And the distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. Wow, what an amazing opening. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is one of the best vanilla fragrances that I have ever gotten my nose on. And I have a lot of vanilla fragrances to be truthful. I have Vanillean Sensei by Atelier Cologne. Spiritu Double Vanille is another one that I tried by Guerlain. And there's just something about this fragrance. It's a very sort of grown up vanilla. It's not overly sticky. It doesn't veer in ambery territory. It doesn't have this cotton candy, candy floss backbone about it. It's just the vanilla comes across 
smelling very luxurious, very refined, very smooth. And I think it's because it's evened out and it's balanced out by a lot of the notes that are found in the heart of this fragrance. So you have the Turkish rose in there, you have the black currant, you also have a little bit of patchouli in the base. Yes, you have some resins in here, but it never veers in ambery territory. You have this sort of, to my nose, this very subtle incense quality in the dry down, the creaminess of the sandalwood. And there are some spices in here too. Really the note that I'm getting the strongest of is the vanilla. And I think that's why I'm falling in love with this. You know, I do have a sweet tooth or a sweet nose. I know I've mentioned this in my previous videos and I have a proclivity for sweet fragrances. Now, I have a lot of fragrances in my collection that are a little bit on the juvenile side. I'm gonna admit that, right? I have Blue Sugar by Aqualina. I think Magic Circus by Min New York is another one with that ethyl maltol cotton candy vibe. And a lot of the uh, Thierry Mugler fragrances have a tendency of, you know, having that ethyl maltol vibe, amen, and pure malt and whatever else. But this fragrance, when it comes to vanilla driven fragrances, gourmand fragrances, best in class vanilla fragrances, this shoots right up at the top of the list. And it's amazing because I've uh, introduced this fragrance to a lot of other people. And as soon as I mention it to them, they go out there, they try it, and they immediately fall in love with it. And this is a company that releases consistently good fragrances. If you're looking for something on the brighter and fresher side, more of an office uh, fragrance, Hachivat is absolutely amazing. Uh, Hundred Silent Ways is fantastic. Vain and Naive is this amazing raspberry fragrance. It's so good. I've done a review on, of that fragrance as well. And of course, they have some other fragrances that are a little bit on the spicier side, a little bit on the heavier side. I have a lot of familiarity with Nishane fragrances, and a lot of them were composed by Jorge Lee, who I, I've had the opportunity of meeting in person. He's such an amazing person. When I visited, Istanbul, Turkey, you know, he showed me around his factory, MG International, and I actually personally smelled a lot of the fragrances because he had the raw, you know, compounds for them. But this fragrance is absolutely incredible. Again, I can't. I can't emphasize it enough. If you are a fan of vanilla fragrances, but you want something that is not going to smell youthful or childish or puerile or immature or anything like that, you want a really classy, grown up, gentlemanly, sophisticated vanilla, um, you have to check this one out. You have to, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is without a doubt a completely unique fragrance. I have smelled a lot of vanillas, like I said. I have smelled uh, Spiritu Double Veni by uh, Guerlain. I have smelled Veni and Sensei by Talier Cologne. Every brand kind of has its own vanilla fragrance, but this one is so different. Uh, the closest fragrance that I could probably compare this one to, I think it's called The Architects Club by Arquiste. But I mean, even that is very different from this one. It's one of these dry, dusty, not powdery, but dusty vanilla fragrances. When you get your nose on it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's a gorgeous gourmand fragrance. In terms of the longevity, eight plus hours, this is very strongly concentrated. You can tell from the presentation segment of this video. And then the projection on this one was an arm's length for about two to three hours. And then it didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that, seven hour mark, I would say. So you're gonna get exceptional performance from this fragrance. You will definitely get noticed. Versatility, it is versatile, you know? I think if you're in college, you can pull this one off. I think that if you're dressed up and you're wearing this as an office fragrance, I think you can pull it off there too. It has a lot of these edible ingredients like vanilla and that Tonka vibe and the black currant. And it has this sort of fruity juiciness about it as well, but it also has these other woodsy and green and verdant notes to sort of ground it. So it is complex, despite the fact that I get more vanilla than anything else. Definitely check it out. You'll know exactly what I mean. I think it's perfectly unisex. And I think this one is better suited for the colder weather. So honestly, now is the perfect time to purchase this one. If you are in the market for a new fragrance, you like your fragrances to be a little bit more on the sweet side, I would definitely check this one out. I think fall and winter is really where it's at for this fragrance. I wouldn't wear it in the summer. And the presentation on this one, I like it. It's simple. I love the cap. I love the color of the hardware. My final verdict on this fragrance is, again, it's one of my favorite fragrances, and I think it's the best release of 2019. It's just 
It's an incredible fragrance. I absolutely love Ani by Nishane. Like I said, I acquired this fragrance through my own means. It wasn't sent to me by fragranceusa.com, but uh, this video is being launched in collaboration with fragranceusa.com. So once again, if you are interested in winning a full-size bottle of Ani by Nishane, all you have to do is go ahead and leave a comment down below with which fragrance would you purchase from the website fragranceusa.com and I'm going to leave a link to that website down below in the description section as well. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.